Hi everybody, I'm Jackie Helena and I'm the founder of iCats for Groomers. Thank you for coming to my channel and if you enjoy it, please press subscribe so you can get notifications as soon as I post a new video. Today we're going to be learning about cat bows because bows aren't just for dogs anymore. And I'm going to show you how to make one, the supplies that you need, and how to put it in a cat. And this is what we are going to be making today it is a rosette bow. This is one of the safest bows that you can put into cats. There's nothing in the middle, so there's no embellishments. We don't want to put anything there because we don't want them to chew it and swallow it. You know how cats are sometimes. It looks great, and when it comes off, guess what? It's a cat toy. Yeah, it's going to end up under people's furniture and couches, but they still get to play with it. So you kill two birds with one stone. It's a beautiful decoration for the cats, and they get to take home a cat toy after their groom, which is very pleasing for owners and the cats. So come with me. Let's make a kitty bow, kitty bow, a blue bow bow. Make sure you can leave a comment after if you do like this video, and make sure you hit subscribe. Let's go. So we're gonna look at a couple different bows for cats today. The safest bow is called the rosette bow, and this is the rosette bow. Okay? There's no uh, pieces of ribbon sticking out that it can chew on or, or carry around. There's nothing in the middle, there's no embellishment in the middle that it can chew and take off and swallow. If we look at a typical dog bow like this, this too you can use for cats, it's not a problem. We just wanna make sure that these ends are are really sealed. You can either seal them with glue or we can seal them with fire. But one of the issues with this bow is that if you've got a cat that's very mouthy, um, then they can chew into this and they can start to, to split it and get the threads and swallow it. So although this one does work, the rosette bow is by far the safest bow. And that's the one we're going to learn today. So first thing we need is we need ribbon. Okay? So I like to use the silk ribbon it's much easier and much more flexible than the cotton ribbon is the cotton ribbon you'll see ridges whereas a silk ribbon is nice and smooth and very flexible and easy to bend you want to get the either 1.5 centimeter width or 5 eighths of an inch width and you can find that on right here on the ribbon as to what size you're, you're looking at this is the size that is the best that works for a rosette bow of course, you want scissors so that you can cut the ribbon, make sure they're nice and sharp, and you want a ruler so that we can measure it. We want a flame giver. I prefer a barbecue lighter um, if I'm making a lot of bows. A cigarette lighter, I find my thumb gets hot and it gets really sore. You want elastics. Now, elastics are really important to keep on obviously, and to put on with, with glue. So we like to buy the uh, 5 16 size elastics that you can get. You can get them in big bags. Um, they're just this, but they're very strong and they're fairly thick. Okay? The, a lot of the hair elastics that you can get for children, don't bother, they won't work. They, they really won't. A lot of groomers try to get, try it, to get away from this, but just get these, trust me. We've all been down that road of going and getting the cheap stuff for girls and think, oh, this will work just as well, and it really doesn't. These are also 5 sixteenths, uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch, or about 3 millimeters, I believe, um, of elastics. And these are actually from a dentist. So these are actually for braces. If you can see it, we'll put it down here, there. Those are actually for braces. And those are another alternative and option that you can use for your bows. The next we need is thread. Now, this is a crochet thread, okay? Um, that's what it's called. You can also use cross stitch thread and you wanna get the thinnest that you can get. Sewing thread is just not strong enough. Even I've even tried the surging th thread and it still breaks really easy. So just get a, a ball of this, thinnest that you can find and that works really nice and it's really stable. 
And then we need a needle. And of course the needle that we use is just a hand sewing needle, but you wanna use quite a long one and quite a thick one, okay? We need the thickness so that we can get the thread through the eye of the needle. And that's why we like the bigger ones. I mean, this, you know, if you get a really long one, it doesn't really work. The real short ones, it, you just can't get the thread through. And the short ones, it, it's hard to get through the ribbon as well. And last but not least, we need, of course, a hot glue gun. Now I've tried the cool glue, gun, glue guns, and they're just not as effective and they just don't hold as well, especially when you're, um, when you're trying to glue the edges. They just don't work as well, unfortunately. That's my opinion, that's what I've found. You may find something different that works and that's perfect for you. So to measure this, we're going to use it 10 centimeters or four inches. That is the best length for one of these bows. And then we're going to cook the ends just a little bit. You're just touching it with the flame and that just seals the ends to prevent any fraying. If you can really see that or not. We have our needle and we're gonna get our elastic ready here because we need that too. And we're going to start weaving the needle in and out on the edge. Most silk ribbons will have an edging already and you just follow that edge. Like that. So when you get about halfway or three quarters way, or when you remember, you take and you put the elastic on. Keep going. Right to the end. Now, if you forget the elastic here, then you can put the elastic on on the end. So even if you get to the end and think, oh, I forgot the elastic, don't worry, just put the elastic in on the end. And then we're gonna take this, you're gonna hold your needle here so it doesn't pop off, and you're gonna stretch this ribbon down onto the thread like that. So now we have all this thread on the ribbon. Pull it through. And we have it like that. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take, make sure you give yourself lots of room to make a knot and make a knot, tie it. And just tie, pull it tight. And there we have a rosette, okay? You're gonna slip this, this part through to the back and you're gonna knot it again so it doesn't come loose a lot easier than it actually looks. There, just like that. And then before we cut it, what we're gonna do is take our hot glue gun and we're just gonna put a dot on the knot where the knot is, just to hold that knot, okay? And then we're gonna put it on the edges here and glue it all together so that it holds. Then we can take this, cut it nice and flush so there's no strings hanging out, and there we have our little rosette bow. Easy to do. We've got it on the back. The elastic is sewn right in so we don't have to glue the elastic on or anything like that, and that's how we do a little rosette bow. Now, Let's go get a cat and I'll show you how to put it on. Now, when we are going to put this onto a cat, I always get this ready before the groom starts so that uh, I don't have to do it while the cat's on the table. So I stretch elastic like this. I have hemostats here. Keep them in a closed position and I put this on and I go one, two, three. And that is ready for me to go put it on a cat. 
Stay safe, stay, stay, stay. So we like to put the bow in right in the back of the head here, which is perfect when they have a mane. Stay. There we go. You're going to take a little bit and you're going to twist it with your fingers to make it into like a little uh, section. There we go. Now we take our, our bow that we have on the on this already. You grab that part of the hair that you've twisted like this. And then you just take and you slide this elastic over top of that hair. Pull it through, down, and look at that. We have a beautiful little kitty bow. Okay, and again, this is just a really nice way to dress them up a little bit. And when it comes out, they have a kitty toy. You're fine. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Oops, comes off. It's a toy. Good girl. Okay. Off you go. Good girl.